Hi guys, welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. Yes, that's right. I have a very, two very special guests in the kitchen with us today. I have my good friend, Jessica. Hey. We have been friends for over 10 years now. Very good friend. And also her dad, Mr. Dave. Today, I'm going to be their assistants. They're going to cook a very good meal for you guys today, a good recipe that I know that you will enjoy, okay? So I'm going to let them tell you guys about this recipe. Jessica, could you give us a little bit of the insight of Mr. Dave, the name, and what all comes with this recipe? The recipe is called Eggs and Purgatory, and I'm going to let my dad uh, explain it a little better. Okay, so it's just, uh, um, I'm going to take some I'll take some onions and some garlic and then grill some, some greens in that. Okay. And add tomatoes and then the seasoning, a little bit of cayenne, uh, basil, cayenne. And oregano. And oregano. And then I'm going to uh, heat that up and we're going to break some eggs into it and then cook, bake it in the oven. I'm excited about this dish. What about you guys? Yes. Oh, yeah. Now, Mr. Dave, I heard that you're an awesome cook. This is very true. Yes, well, I can't wait for us to get this started and we can be able to dine and taste this good recipe you got for us, okay? Sounds good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let this olive oil already going. We got the, the, the skillet already hot. We're gonna add the onions. He has two garlic cloves already cut up and then a small white onion, okay. And we'll just cook for a minute. Then add it. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, also the uh, cayenne. Cayenne pepper. Okay. So now we're going to take um, a little of the ground cayenne pepper. If you just shake a little bit in there. All right. Let me know when it's hot, Mr. Dave. That's good. Okay. Don't need much. Okay. So the cayenne, I'm going to give it a little spice. Right, yeah. Mr. Dave? Yeah. Thank you. The cayenne adds more cayenne. I mean, you like more spice. If you ever just do the spinach, uh, the work of spinach, just a little bit of time in the room. Okay, that's a, that's a good tip. I didn't know. So now, you can let this blender down just to the um, milk a little bit. Okay, okay. And then we'll, uh, okay. the next thing we do. Wilt down, Mr. Dave, here for a couple seconds here, maybe a minute or so, and then we'll add adding the other items, sorry. Then we're adding the other items. Smells awesome. Okay, so I, and I went from medium low down to low. Okay, so he had the fire at first at medium low, your stove, medium low. And then he has, you said high? No, no, I went down to low. Low, okay, so then you turned it down to let it cook, okay. Okay, so we're good. But, uh, Tomatoes. Yeah, tomatoes. There we go. So just pour it all in at once? Yes, yes. All right. And then uh, the, uh, both the, uh, the basil and the... Uh... Basil for Jessica. Yes, yes. How much basil? Um, just a, a few shakes. I'll tell you when. That's good. Got some oregano. Oregano. Awesome About cook. About the same bottle. Don't even need really measurements, you just know how much. Okay. Okay, so now let's let's let this cook like this for a little bit. Okay. So what what we'll do here eventually is I'll make some pockets and you guys crack an egg into each one of these pockets. Okay. Set the timer for it's gonna be at least eight minutes, but we'll check it. 
We checking in now, it's been like three to four minutes, so we still got a couple more minutes to go, and we'll let you guys know once it's finished, how many minutes it has been. Okay, we'll be back. So is that considered done? Yeah, so see the how the egg whites have set. Okay. So that's good. So the egg white has set. So Mr. Dave said if you shake the pan and it jingles, it's not ready, okay? All, All right, right, so some of there we go. Okay. There we go. That looks awesome. Okay. So now that the dish is ready, it took about 10 minutes? Yes. Okay. So it took about 10 minutes. And remember, if it's in the oven and when it's cooking, if you shake the pan and it's jiggling, it's not ready. Give it a couple more minutes. So this is the end result right here. It looks delicious and smells delicious. Don't you agree, Jessica? I definitely agree. Yes. Okay. So we're going to show you a couple ways how you can Put eat it in a wrap. Okay. This is um, low, low calorie egg wraps with cauliflower. We're going to use this wrap, okay? One with a wrap and one without. All right, Jessica, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to take that. We're going to show you how we're going to wrap it. And then I'm going to take one. Now, if you want more, you just add more. Like I usually tell you, whatever floats your boat, that's what you use. If you want two in a wrap, that's what you do, okay? So come on, Jessica, and show us how we do this wrap. You or Mr. Dave can show us. This is an awesome, awesome dish. This is something maybe your, your daughter would like to Yes, yes, uh, vegetarian all the way. Yes. So it works out well in our household. Yes, it's awesome. Good food is good for eating. 